Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the first 2015 Open Mic Night. For those of you who have not attended our event before, I'm just going to go over a little bit of information. Oh, there we go. Uh, and that is, this open mic is run a little differently than ones that might be on the road system at a cafe. Usually there would be a list and you just walk in, sign up, and then you perform. But for ours, we like to make sure every student has opportunity for preparation. So they sign up three to four weeks in advance, and they rehearse, and then they come and present their song or their poem for you. So um, this is the most encouraging and chill type of venue for them to be first time performers. Tonight we do have a few first time performers. So I'm counting on all of you to be really encouraging and cheer loudly when you hear their name announced and loudly when they are finished because it takes a lot of guts to get, get up here. We also have a few veterans as usual bringing you poetry and songs. And then I'll have some announcements throughout because this weekend is pretty huge. What a good show we have tonight. This is so exciting. Well, I'll just tell you really quickly about um, our next musical theater production that's happening right now. Uh, we've already had a couple of rehearsals and it is so exciting. Everybody is doing a great job. Um, the show is called Nothing to Do and it is loosely based on the Shakespeare play, Much Ado About Nothing, which is a comedy. And I know you guys think that Shakespeare doesn't write comedy, but he does, and it's really funny. Um, so this is a modern adaptation. Uh, we were looking at a couple different shows to do, and man, it is really hard to get the rights to do a show, and we wanted to do it and be able to just have a great time with it. And in order to do that, you have to actually write these theater companies and get the rights. And it's actually really complicated, which I did not know. And so instead of continuing to do that, we just decided that it would be faster to actually write our own. So I wrote it over break and it's really exciting and everybody's doing such a great job and has been so supportive. Um, and so it's gonna be really fun. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about it. Basically it's about two couples. Uh, there's two princes and there's two ladies. Shocker, right? That never happens in stories. Anyway, so we have one prince who is madly in love with one of the ladies, and then you've got another prince that absolutely hates the other lady. And um, yeah, it's really, really confusing and complicated, but in the end, um, I think you're gonna see that everybody lives happily ever after, and it's really fun. So there's a lot of humor along the way, and some really manly songs, and also some really girly songs. And uh, I think you're going to like it. So I hope that you will come. Uh, we're going to be singing at Assembly in April, or no, in March, I believe, hopefully. But uh, the show itself is going to be on April 24th through 26th. We're going to have three or four shows. We haven't quite decided yet, but it's going to be a really great time. So April 24th through 26th. So put it on your iPhones, put it on your Samsung Galaxies. Don't forget, it's going to be really fun. <laughs> Yeah, applause for Natalie. She wrote an entire musical over winter break. That's fabulous. Have, have any of you guys written a musical before? <laughs> one of you. How long did it take? Yeah, it's a joke, right? Yeah, no one here has written a musical, period. And here one was done in just a couple weeks time. So we're really excited to be uh, featuring that for you guys later this year. Up next, our veteran poet. Emmy Ellis! Hi! <laughs> I wrote this poem about my dad, so that is a little bit of background on it. Do you remember all those priceless times? I don't know where to start. You made important people wait so you could hold my heart. Do you remember all those mornings you'd lean beside my bed and whisper that you love me and gently kiss my head? Do you remember all those chilly dawns, just the two of us? We'd hunt until the sun rose and you'd take me to the bus. Do you remember all those evenings we'd laugh and watch TV? Our happy little family, mom, you, Grace, and me. Do you remember all those cookies? I baked them just for you. 
just to show my love, not because I had to. I hope you don't remember this, but just in case you do. Do you remember drifting off and leaving this painful prison that cancer made for you? I hope you're peaceful and at rest. I only have one last request. If you ever feel lonely or if you miss me too, just remember when you left, a piece of me went with you. beautiful. I love your poems. I think I've told you this before. She also is the one who wrote the infamous IDA poem. Did, how many of you came to the Northern Echoes Film Fest on Sunday? Yeah! Yeah, so the IDA one that features Jaden as the IDA police, <laughs> that one had the poem uh, by Emmy, and that poem really was the inspiration for the entire film that all of you guys have come to know and love. Up next, we have Garrett. Where is Garrett? Come on down. There he is. Yeah, Garrett. We're going to sing a song together for you guys. All right, another first. That was Garrett's first performance here. And the next first is going to be percussion ensemble. Come on, percussion people. So we should have Annie. Where's Annie? Do I see Annie? There's it. No, that wasn't Annie. That was a fake gift. Where is she? Annie, Jaden, Calvin. Calvin, there's Calvin. No, no one's wanting to come up. <laughs> come on up, Calvin. Do you guys see Annie? Oh, yeah, there she is. Annie. Is Patrick Nick here? Patrick Nick. If he's not, we have a sub. <laughs> Patrick, anyone see him? Patrick Nick? All right, Amanda Cobb? Come on up. All right, so guys, this is the percussion ensemble. And we took it. 